Thousands of people who lost their homes are still in shelters tonight. Many say conditions are getting worse by the day. Cody Long has their story. It's day five without power or running water here at this temporary shelter. The people inside say it's been tough and they are desperate for more help. It's been so hot inside the building, many of these people say they moved outdoors to feel a breeze. Inside, we're told everyone had to sleep on the floor until they brought in cots. This American Red Cross shelter is set up at Northside Elementary School. Our cameras were not allowed inside. Many families are here with their kids because they say they have nowhere else to go. Many of them lost their homes and everything they have in Hurricane Michael. I talked to some of them about their experience inside the shelter so far. Horrible, depressed, sad, uh, upset, uh, aggravating. People are fighting with each other. Couples are fighting with each other just because of all the stress that's built up inside. I mean, there's really and truly nothing that we can do. Now with the shelter life, it's kind of like, you know, trying to keep all the, you know, all your stuff together. I mean, because that's all I have now. The toilets were overflowing with everything and it was it was all over the floor um very unsan and you know you ask for like um cleaning supplies and they don't have much some days it's bad some days it's you know it's good i just feel like it's all what you make it um as far as like the the water condition i mean nobody's been able to take a shower it's devastating to come outside and see the whole city that you once knew is just destroyed our jobs are gone houses are gone i mean you can't go out and, and buy the kids new clothes because there's nothing up and running. You can't buy them the food that they didn't want or that they didn't need. Some others say the Red Cross has been working hard to ensure everyone is doing okay. We saw several volunteers bringing in clothes today and even footballs for the kids. Rumors have spread about a bed bug infestation at this location, but a Bay County official says that is not true. In Panama City, I'm Cody Long.